gentlemen. I'm here in the Royal Theatre and look how close I am to the next person. This is amazing. I can't believe this. I'm so close to some person. Italian's really like, close to this. Oh, how's it going, Abby? Oh, hello, Jesus. How are you? Yes, yeah, you can see this? It's amazing. Oh, sh oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> this is good. Yeah, close to there. So she'll go up the grand stairs. I want a picture of me on the nice grand stairs. Woo! Ooh, 11. Oh. Hello. So I have no idea what flavor I got, but it tastes delicious. <laughs> it's good, good gelato. My host family recommended the shop for me. It's the Dolce Foley, the one I showed you earlier. So good. No idea what I got, but so good. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, really? It's happening right now? What the heck? What? Bug bites? Oh. Wait. I am, I am like, they always eat me. Always. Wherever I go. See, they used to eat me, and then I have, oh. Even in the Spring water? Water, we're in another church area. <laughs> it's so gross. There's someone talking. There are people talking. Look that. Look that. I probably shouldn't do that. And suggestions for the church. And someone. I don't know what someone's doing there. Is he fighting? Look at these oh, Rubik's cubes. Oh. <laughs> you turn it once. Rubik's cubes, man. Rubik's This, this church was built a couple years ago, 1327. That's what the tour said. Tourist person, tour guide. That's what he said. A few years ago. That's their version of a few years ago. This thing is huge. 
Oh boy, I'm so sorry. Ooh, what's that, Crips? Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, that's a fancy looking crown. I took a picture. I took a picture. Okay, this is a tomb, but which tomb is it for? I don't know the name. But it has a seven. The seven? Okay. Someone's ringing the bell. It's like the Oh my gosh, the staircases are so tiny. I love this railing on the left. That's super cool. Yeah, but it looks super cool. Basically me. And me. Don't worry. I can't see. Wait, who's this supposed to be? Did I get, did I miss something? Did I film it? I filmed that area. And then it was dark and then I turned it off. Oh, okay. Wow, we're going up. Another set of stairs. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's warmer up here. Oh, it is warmer. Now we're here. This used to be a fresco palace. This was his palace. This used to be so huge. Now it's just small little apartments. This says something about which soccer team is better in Italy. Apparently they have fights about which soccer this team is the, the best. This is the back end of the Duomo. The Duomo is the cathedral which starts up there. This is where like the, the friars and the monks live and stuff. I'm assuming this is, was their courtyard. I've never heard of it. This person is not really going to be able to park there. Like, let's just walk around. Go to the left, guys. Come on. Where is the Sant'Angelo Minor Church? It's a building in uh, 1362. This is important for the uh, painting by Timoteo Vitti. Do you know Timoteo Vitti? No. He's an uh, important uh, artist, uh, uh, Urbino. Ah, okay. The uh, 16th century. We will go to Urbino later, which is a town, which is like the town that lorded over this town. Mm. Yeah, it's <laughs> down. He was working with Raffaello. You know who Raffaello is? The painter. <laughs> the painter, that's right. He's from Urbino. He painted a lot of stuff in the Vatican. Okay? But <gasps> well, this painter was working with him around the same time. Oh my god. It's
nothing on that. And like the forefront is a different plane of viewing. But this was like a revolution in art at the time. To be able to to give stuff a depth of field is very realistic, right? Before everything was just flat and everything was just in the same plane. This it goes back and so it draws your eye this way and that way. This was like a very big deal. This is before you know people made paintings uh, like whatever they wanted. It was still only made paintings of uh, religious or people who were like lords who paid a lot of money to have the portrait commissioned. But so this is the, this just the whole idea of is very was very revolutionary at the time. And I don't know is this uh, Saint Michael again or Saint Michael? No, mm -hmm. Saint Michael. Because St. Michael was the one that slayed the devil, right? Mm -hmm. I guess they, they didn't have to work. Same thing would have He's got his toes around his throat. Okay, let's go. Frescoes up there behind the altar, they like, they restored all that. I don't know, it was like 10 years ago when I first started coming here. That was still white, and now you can see more of what's up there. Wait, who is this dude? working on restoring some of the art. to be rich, but he's uh, known as the lover of animals. Okay, so you didn't get this part because Darcy said it, but I shall no, say it now. Um, during the game of soccer, um, they, the, the city is divided into four, four pieces, and then each piece is named after a famous I mean, church that we it. went into, and then inside each piece they would like compete who would get, the, get to be the final round, and then they compete for the goose which the goose is what you saw earlier in the video. So, cool, cool facts. The goose is like the rubber chicken and the crazy shoes. That is what it's like, basically. Yeah, except for a city instead of like for school. <laughs> what? I said it's like the Highland Games uh, for Scotland. Um, they even have them here uh, where a bunch of people like wearing kilts and everything, they, um, come and do a bunch of games where they throw hay over a bar and they keep going to see who can do the highest. It's kind of like track and field, but with um, really cool stuff. Like some of them, they throw logs, and whoever gets the farthest, they do shot put. And but they do it with rocks, which is awesome because you just see all these people throwing gigantic rocks. 
Um, and then there's a there's a few other things, but uh, that's the main ones that I can remember. <laughs> History lesson with Emily. <laughs> It's a pajan. <laughs> Fashion boxes. This is rum ice cream, apparently. I didn't know. <laughs> so You could be here, but um, <laughs> I'm having you can't room. Stop me now. <laughs> yeah, you can't Pardon stop me. me. <laughs> Already bought it. There's fans on the outside of this restaurant. It's beautiful. I still don't understand Actually, this. They, they have it in Spokane, too. Wait, they do? Yeah. Oh. It's, it's not a new <laughs> thing, but <laughs> it's good. <laughs> <laughs> You know when you don't have internet and you need to use your Facebook? Just do book, face, Facebook. Hi, my name is Lauren. Um, Abby just spit her water because it out your nose? because it came out her nose. Uh, Jason made her laugh really hard, and so that's what she's doing. Okay, here you go. I'm done. It probably is some sort of passageway. Okay, it says something right here, but I can't read it. Oh, ooh, there's English. Yeah. There's English. Okay. Um, the White Stone Chapel inaugurated in 1929 in honor of the First World War Fallen, designed by Professor something and built by something. Between the apprentices, we have the note, the presence of something who is well known for the important works in Kai. Ah! Sorry, there was a bug. <laughs> in the surrounding towns. 
The construction of the chapel was funded by a city committee who raised a sum of 45 lire, to which was added a donation of 18, 16, 80 lire given by the municipal. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Program. All these names. Kaduti Nala. This is a very small church. Uh, this is a church? Yeah. I thought it was just a tomb. Or, I thought it was too. Oh, it's a chapel, that's right. <coughs> uh, we did just read that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we just read it. Hey, they're joining us. Okay, that's cool. And a cannon. Can I have a picture here? Okay, I made it to another one of these. Um. The fountain of San Cafesi is Kaigi's oldest fountainhead. It was built in 1920, a year after the reconstruction of a town. It is the only water source for Kaigi. It was moved from the square around 1920, and a part of it was moved to Pinko. And I'm guessing this was, this is it. Wait, the fountain of Giuseppe? Why is a part moved? I'm so confused. Okay. So now we have time to relax before we have our class. And um, I've been exploring with um, Alexander, Emily, and Jameson. And now we're at a playground, so now we're gonna have some fun. They're a lot cheaper here. They're a lot cheaper here. It looks like Kinder is like a good one to be in. I don't really understand what's going on. Okay. Here are the snacks. Those are my favorite in Korea. I don't know if they're the same here. Huh. Ha <laughs> ha 